Next, we're going to copy the triangle using side angle side. Okay. And we can go ahead and just copy this triangle here. It doesn't really matter. So first thing we need to start off with is a side. Okay. So we just start with our ray there. We'll use some different letters. How about L will correspond here with X. And then let's go ahead and get that Z again. Okay. So again, copy, <coughs> copy your segment. X, Z. Down onto L. And call that N. Okay, so we have one side here. Now what we're going to do is copy an angle. At this point, we can either copy uh, angle X or angle Z. So let's go ahead and copy angle X. We're going to use the techniques we learned to copy an angle. And we basically put our point of our compass on vertex x. And then we okay, make an arc that intersects both rays. And we copy that arc onto vertex L. Okay. Now what we want to do is actually measure the distance between these intersection points. Just want to measure that distance there. Make sure we're on. And then move your compass down to the other intersection. And draw an arc that intersects our first arc. Once you have that, you can draw the ray from point L through that intersection. So, so far we have our side and an angle. The last thing to get here is our side. So we're going to copy side xy and put it right down here. Okay. So there's xy again. know that that will be the same length. We'll just call that point M. And now just connect the segment MN. Okay, so this would be side angle, side congruence. And we have another congruent triangle. 